All right, folks. Don't have all that much time, so we're going to go right to James Liu's interview, who actually spent a whole extra month in Ghana to find out what he was doing. Here we go. This is James Liu right here on Conrad's Corner. And hello, everybody. My name is Conrad Wilton, and once again, I'm inside the Annenberg Radio News Studio, but I'm alongside somebody uh, who's got a very interesting story to tell. And uh, this is Conrad's Corner's coverage of USC's first fellowship in Ghana. It continues this time with James Liu. Hey, Connor. How's it going? Awesome. Pronounce the last name right? Uh, Lou, that's right. Good, good. Got it. I didn't do so well with Divya Rao. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay today. So, James, how you doing? You doing well? Thanksgiving on its way? Oh, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Long okay. semester. Long yeah. semester. Very. Yeah, very. I can imagine. So, but talking about long semesters, things like that, it must have been a very interesting trip going out to Ghana over the summer. Uh, when did this actually occur? Was this in July? Was this in June? Or when did you go? Um, so actually, I, I left abroad um, at May, right around, I think, May 18th with uh, Viterbi. Um, I went over to Beijing first for about a month. And then, oh. yeah, and then after that, I went from there straight to Ghana, um, stayed with the fellowship for about a month. And then I stayed another month after, um, just kind of on my own, hoofing it um, through the country, and then went back to, to China to travel through um, to, you know, the tier two, tier three cities, things like that. So I was actually abroad for about four months. The entire summer, yeah, and for, then some, and then some, yeah. Wow. So the semester's actually been a little shorter than uh, than normal. Oh yeah, no, a long semester. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> long time abroad. Uh, did you ever miss any family out there? Get a little homesick or, or no? Are you um, used to this type of stuff. A, a little bit. I mean, I, I used to be in the military prior, so I've been deployed before. Um, so that that was, you know, this is more of a. Kind of, not, I wouldn't say a walk in the park. A joy ride. <laughs> <laughs> so you spent two months in Ghana. Two months. Two months. Two months. One with a fellowship, uh -huh. and then they left, and then you stuck around, and then one just by yourself. Just kind of, yeah. I, I mean, I found myself um, a random person to, to you know, to find a home for me, and then just kind of wow. travel to the country on, on by Trotro. I don't know if the, any of the other fellows mentioned what a Trotro was. Yeah, no, I, I, I think one of them might have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah the, the Trotro, like, when we, when we think Ghana, I think all, every fellow will just think Trotros. I mean, they're, the, what they are is, if you imagine, um, you go over to, like, the junkyard, and you see, like, you know, one of those broken cars, like a minivan. Mm -hmm. You take that minivan, you put it on the street, you get it running, and you stick, like, 17, 18 people in it. Uh, that's a Trotro. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that, oh, very good. You learned something new here in Conrad's yeah, Corner. Yeah, it's the theme of the show, it seems to be. But so you spent two months there, the first month with the fellowship. Let's talk about that first month first we'll get into the second one a little bit later okay. but the first month you you research business schools universities things like that i believe um yep yep um, and you're a business major here at sc so this was right up your alley right yes uh, i'm actually a philosophy um ethics major okay uh, i'm a business this, minor and this, engineering minor. business minor so kind of up your alley yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you discover when uh, you did your research um it was i mean i i discovered way more i mean i think we, we were just discussing it before we came on there but um, you know, when people think of, of Africa, they think rural Africa, they think of, you know, heart of darkness. Exactly. Um, and actually, no, these, uh, these universities are amazing. They, they were all founded by, um, you know, um, like European colon colonial powers. Uh, powers, yeah. And, um, you know, they, they have really amazing buildings. They've been, Ghana's actually one of the fastest growing nations in the, in the world right now by GDP. Um, and they're pouring a lot of the money into, inf into infrastructure. So they're building up their schools. They got a lot of uh, construction projects going on. And it's just, um, the campuses are amazing places. So when it's emerging nation, basically, it's on its way up. It, it is, it's definitely, it's uh, one of the stars. Interesting. I've learned a lot about Ghana, just talking to a lot of folks, that English is the official language, yep. that there are, that there's, believe it or not, there's a lots of cars out there. Yep. You know, they're very, very advanced in that regards not everyone running around on you know foot and camels i guess or, <laughs> <laughs> or giraffes i suppose in that <laughs> just plain old just plain old donkeys i think uh, <laughs> And elephants too. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we got, we got the the elephants. I don't think we're gonna. I tried to ride one. The other day. everyone got mad at me for trying to get too close. <laughs> yeah, how would you even get on top of that thing? I, I figured I'd figure it out when I got to. Yeah, that's the story itself. Get a couple on top or something. That's been a baby elephant. Dude. <laughs> My goodness gracious! But.